Let me tell y'all something. I already don't want to be here. I already don't want to be here. Okay, like, I literally just opened Crunchyroll, open, you know, episode five of season two, Premature Death. Look who they choose on the cover. Like, it's just, you know, it's called tact, okay? I, I know it's coming. I know it's coming, but chill. Like, actually chill. Actually chill. I'm sick. I'm sick. I, I don't want to be here, bro. <laughs> In the last episode, we got to see the end of Toji, how that happened, how that happened. And you know, like, obviously, this dude wasn't, like, the best dude. Of course, though, I'm, like, still gonna miss his character. Like, it was four episodes worth, like, I'm gonna miss him. <laughs> but, like, dang, it is what it is. But, yeah, it's crazy. I'm, like, really surprised, but at the same time, it's, like, that was wild and... and you know, um, Gojo's glow up to absolutely wild. And I was I was talking to my friend, and I was saying how like, you know what would have been really sick if the rematch took place in the future, like when he was older Gojo, which obviously we both agreed like would end in a millisecond. It would ha like what? Um, but for some reason, I like would have really liked to see like older Gojo pulling up in front of him and still being a menace. You know what I'm saying? Like still being a menace tenfold. It would have just been such an epic like, you knew me then, but do you know me now? You know, like, I just, I don't know, I'm sorry. It's just <laughs> yeah, it would have been really cool. But um, another thing is that, yo, the internet cannot be defeated at all. Like, the, <laughs> the internet cannot be defeated for real. Like, just look at this, please. Another thing I absolutely love is when my friend and I talk about something and then I see that, or like if I mention something in a video and I see that afterwards people make like reels or like TikToks about it, I'm like, oh yeah, like other people saw it too or like felt the same way. Remember when Gojo was like staying up all night and like homeboy looked a mess, he looked tired, poor kid. But like, we, like my friend too was like, I just love this scene, like boy suffering, but it's so beautiful. <laughs> Him just sitting there, like, staying awake. Okay, the shot itself was just gorgeous. But, like, there was just something about him really just staying up to protect her and things like that. And then, of course, reels. And my man. Thank you to my man. Thank you to my man. And my man. Thank you to my man. Thank you to my man. And my man. Thank you to my man. Yo, it, sometimes I hate the internet. I swear to you. I hate the internet. I hate everything that's happening. I hate absolutely everything. I hate AI. I hate AI. I absolutely, if I can, at the snap of my fingers, delete AI, I will. Okay, I hate it. Um, there are some aspects about AI. So, I, okay, I can't say I hate AI, period. But it's going too far. <laughs> we were good. It's good. Stop it. It's going way too far. Other aspects of the internet, like people, like people's sense of humor <laughs> Like, the fact that they take the time to make ish, I'm just like, <laughs> I love it. I really do. I absolutely love it. So thank you to the people that are constantly making content online that is good content because there's some content. Anywho, so that's enough of that. There's just something about this show that people will be making some very, very, very enjoyable content of in every art form. <laughs> So, anywho, let's get into it, y'all. Let's get into this last episode before the series continues. August 31st. Was it? I think it was August 31st. Is when the Sh Shibuya arc is going to come and continue. And we're going to see our gang again, I guess. Like, Toji. Uh, not Toji. Toji, oh my god. Um, we're going to see um, Yuji and everybody else and stuff like that. And um, I do not know what to expect from that arc. But, you know. So yeah, let's get into it. Let's get into this mess of an episode that I just know is gonna be a mess of an episode. Like, I know Nanami's about to be all up in it too. Like, come on now. Come on now.
I kind of want to watch this again because we're not going to see it for a bit, so. Oh my god, look at her just walking out, oh my god. The fact that there are currently two dead people from this now, in this opening. This opening is so beautiful, for real. Wow. Wait, I forgot, was her mom, her guardian, dead too? Bro, what is this? Y'all not even gonna tell me that this is the, the, the art style is completely different. I'm not even complaining, because I really don't care that much. It's more like, it's clearly different this episode. Like, someone else said, give me. Wait, no, see, here we go again. Let me try, let me try to pay attention about what's coming out your mouth right now. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Ah, oh, yeah. Wow. Mm. Mm. Proving difficult. Homeboy's already practicing. <laughs> Bro, Homeboy- Ghetto's eyes are not okay. His eyes- his Homeboy has not been sleeping. Bro. What? Y'all didn't have to do it. What? Wow. 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 Okay. Yo, they're giving a whole Gojo hand shot for what? For what? Dang. <laughs> oh my god. That looks so cool. Wow. Okay, sir. Mm. Oh, bro, Sugar is not okay. He's not. Dang, y'all were sent on missions alone. Oh my god, don't tell me that's the- Is that the problem? I wonder if that's the problem. Did it start with them being sent on missions alone? Facing things alone? Oddly enough though, if Gojo was going with him, I feel like Gojo would have turned with him. Because if Gojo had seen what he had seen, and like we kind of agreed, Gojo kind of looked to Ghetto to, to see what was right and what was wrong. And, and Gojo already had um, a pretty fiery heart where he was kind of ready to go off on people. So had Gojo been with him, I think Gojo would have turned. Huh? I think. We'll see. We'll keep watching. And he already hates doing that. Oh my gosh. Huh? His, his rationale is not matching his heart at all. I, I really need to know who, like they really, I wonder why they changed like the artistic approach for this episode. <gasps> yeah, it's like a mouse. So it starts. Hold on, but are you telling me that uh, a, like, like a cult, this, this religion is what, okay, it's not just this religion, but it seems like he's already changing his perspective from this last experience with this religion, but come on, they they were they were all wacky. They were people that got sucked into Come on now, that's not fair. Talk to me. Like That's not fair. <laughs> I don't want your whole everything to be changed by like this one group of humans who are like an L. I'm kind of vexed that no one's like sitting him to talk. Like I someone needs to sit this man down to talk. I'd be like, yo, uh. -uh. Uh-uh. Everything on your mind, say it now. Like, everything. Like, you can't just keep sending this poor boy on missions. Wait, wait. Isn't she the one with t something? Wait, 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 wait. I remember Toto. Toto. Toto and this woman, there's a correlation. Why do I not remember it? There's a correlation with Toto and this woman. Is there not? 
Is there not? I remember something like this. Yikes. Hi, yo. Okay, can we talk about his hair down? Okay, yeah, sorry. So she's another special grade. Treating symptoms. Ooh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh! Okay, I understand. They're treating symptoms like basically getting rid of curses and stuff is treating is getting rid of curses after the fact. Whereas she wants to like diminish or delete curses from ever spawning. <laughs> that is reasonable because I don't know if it's possible though, but that would be amazing for him so you don't gotta swallow no more of that. Ah! Energy from mankind. Stop. Wait. To control their cursed energy. That's interesting because it almost looks like. Oh my god, it looks like Ghetto wanted the shortcut of that. He didn't like he doesn't care to make it possible for all of humanity to control their cursed energy rather he'll just get rid of humanity that can't period and leave the ones that can oh my god this is so interesting i'm sorry i'm like I i'm pausing and stuff but it's because i'm really taking it and i, I really want to take in every single instance that could have that could manipulate his his mind and like change how he sees things or like affect him like this conversation too is playing a role and you would think it plays a positive one but you realize how he ends up taking it a little differently pretty good chance you thought it had a pretty good chance of working there was a model case for it Oh, sorry, I want to talk about something else. Yeah, y'all told me that was his mom. If you sit down and think about it, it actually makes zero sense to think that that wasn't, that that was Toji because I don't think Toji had him that young. Also, that glow up would be like with a huge change in a short amount of time. But like, because, <laughs> because um, Megami is not that much older yet. <laughs> so, so if if we stop if because I wasn't the only one that thought that was Toshi, so if we stopped and thought we would realize wait, that doesn't make sense. But I'm glad I wasn't the only one that for some reason thought that was younger Toji with his kid. <laughs> he truly was superhuman. Tu vois encore, cursed spirits aren't born from sorcerers. You can wow, so you already can. Rule out! Oh my God, he really took the easy. He took the shortcut. He's like, get rid of these monkeys, all the strong sorcerers. No more, no more. There will be no more curses. Ah! <laughs> Stop! Turns themselves into a curse after death. Oh yeah, she she needs to change your mindset, right? <gasps> oh, I thought she was gonna reprimand him and be like, I didn't tell you all this. See, it's the easiest way, it's the shortcut. I, I I don't know why that said Kelling, but I'm sure we all know what it was supposed to say, but Ghetto was 
Okay, you know what's really funny? Because I was saying, please someone talk to him, and he actually is talking with her. But is it your fault, sis, low-key? That you're considering. And does it does meeting those girls solidify which one he chooses? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Why are we at the morgue? Why are we at a morgue? I don't want to be here. Not on me? Is homeboy already dead? Oh my god, that's too much. They just showed us he's. Oh my god. Oh my god. They showed him so full of. Oh my god, yo, that's. They ain't gotta do all that. Look, honestly, like when you're when you're watching it like this, it makes me want to go villain. <laughs> makes me want to go villain. Like, look, he he is basically seeing that sorcerers are actually good. We are chilling. We have. Cursed energy, we can work with that. We do not create curses. So we don't even need our cursed energy to destroy curses. Like, we're good. Unless you self-turn yourself into one after death or blah, blah. But, like, we're good. Like, we can actually live our life in peace. Like, this homeboy that's dead right now, this young cat that's dead, why, though? <laughs> and I know this can be applied to a lot of situations. Like, uh... See, that doesn't even apply. See, it's like... You can obviously apply this to actually real situations of like, why should I protect someone else if I didn't cause this? Like, you can see that in some aspect, but not in all aspects, but like basically sorcerers are chilling, right? They are chilling, okay? They do not create curses that are out here causing danger, and yet they are throwing themselves in danger to fight off these curses that they aren't responsible for and then in turn the people that don't have cursed energy right those ones are non-sorcerers that are essentially creating those curses turn around and treat sorcerers in a bad way <laughs> Yo, i can't even i can't even sit here I can't be, I can't even sit here and be mad. I get though, bro. I'm sorry. But I, it's easy to see how he could switch sides like that. Because when you look at it, you're like, look at him. They're treating sorcerers like this. But then they, they, he needs to understand that they have no idea. These non-sorcerers, these non whoa. These non-sorcerers don't know anything. <laughs> they don't know anything most of the time. But it's such a crazy way to see it. Like, we are I'm swallowing this dirty ass rags day to day to day to protect y'all that are creating this mess. Creating this mess because y'all just whack like that. And yet, in other places, y'all be treating sorcerers like. <laughs> y'all, I can't. Oh! Okay, we're here already. Oh my god, stop, please. I don't, I don't want to be here anymore. I don't want to be here anymore. Responsible for the latest incidents. Oh! <laughs> they absolutely are not. Oh, I can't read that. But they also don't know. They don't know. I've already exterminated the cause. Ooh, he's keeping his calm. Yo, they're scratching his brain, bro. They're messing with- I've already exterminated the cause of those incidents. And you know what's funny? He didn't. Like, he did, but he didn't. He got rid of the symptoms. Oh my god, okay. My granddaughter was nearly killed by these two. Two. That's because she- Ah! Uh. Ah! Ah! 
Yo, man, it's it, you know I'm telling you if Gojo was here, I think he would have just went off. Like, <laughs> yo, this is crazy. This is crazy, bro. This is so delicate. You guys don't understand. This is so wow. Wow. 112 residents were <gasps> That's so crazy to see. That's so crazy to read this. Is that the principal reading this? Se oh! Sorry, what? They, they sorry, they sentenced him to death. God, did he just read this? I'm sick. That's wild. Yeah, don't make me. Did you? Are you asking to Gojo to? Are you seriously? Hold on. Your parents. Your parents. See, I understood. I understand that Ghetto broke in this situation. But how does someone break so entirely? Like, what was your relationship with your parents? How do you break so entirely? Even if your parents are non sorcerers, like, how do you break so. How do you. To the point where even them. Did he, did he, did he kill his parents out of like. I'm sorry, but this is what I believe in. Like, did he kill his parents on some, like, Itachi-ish? Like, was he crying? Was it, like, he doesn't want to do this, but he feels like this has to for a better world? Whatever. Or... Or did he do it angrily? Like... Y'all... Y'all weren't watching him closely enough, honestly. That blonde girl planted a seed, too. Oh my god, he hurt himself there. That's crazy. Yeah. <gasps> oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> it's knee itching. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> so this is the scene I'm guessing where they like... Yo, and Gojo is so blindsided. How much does he explain? How much does he tell Gojo here? Because he is super blindsided. Mm. No, there's more. Bro. See, see, see? He, you could tell that he was just like, I can't allow this exception. If I follow my beliefs, then I'm like, you know. I'll, yeah. Well, to him, there's a point. Y'all talking really? Imagine I'm walking past and I hear this. I'd be like, what? <laughs> like, if I'm just walking, you're gonna kill all no one sorcerers. I'm like, I do not do this sorcery if so. Am I dead? <laughs> Yo! Like, excuse me? Bro! <laughs> Bro, they are screaming this in the streets. I don't know. Oh, okay, so he's saying there's no point in just going around ending people if you're not actually going to successfully do it because then it's just you killing and never achieving your goal. I fully get that. <laughs> he actually could. Oh, I think he could. <laughs> that it's impossible to do something that's possible for you. Oh, ouch. Are you the strongest because you're Gojo, or are you Gojo because you're the strongest? See? This push I do would become a lot more grounded and real, don't you think? Oh, and then he wanted to do something, but he couldn't. Yeah. There would be a point to that. Ah! Look at that! He, Gojo himself with his... Well, not sorry. Ghetto himself actually told you that there would be a point in killing me this time. Homeboy himself, Gojo himself could not do it. Yo. Yo, I'm sorry. This episode is actually crazy. I, I'm, not, I'm not in love with their artistic direction for some aspects of it, but I, I don't, you know, at the end of the day, that it just doesn't bother me that much. Um, wow. What are you asking him? Wait, what? What is it? 
Y'all, this episode has me crazy. Why don't you pursue him? He's blindsided. Like, if if he was there for that conversation with that woman or something, he doesn't fully grasp. He <laughs> he understands that homeboy wants to make a world of sorcerers, but he doesn't even know why. Like, does he... Maybe later on, which would make sense, he finds out where curses come from and how they're from people and not at all sorcerers. Like, I'm sure he... That he knows. But, like, here, he's really just like, what? Why? Like, I don't even understand your mind. Hmm? Already ready to be saved by another? Mm -hmm. Ghetto's not ready to be saved, essentially, is what you're saying. Gather curses and make money. Many objected. Well, then they're dead. Bro. Oh my God. <laughs> Yo, my feelings towards this is all over. Like I love it and I hate it all at once. my own issue so he's like ugh I just have to really look at this kid looking like him bro <sighs> okay if anybody was watching this from a distance I'd be like somebody call the cops look at this person on this little child bro They're finished with us. Join themselves elsewhere, right? I wonder if he ever asked. I don't remember. Okay, okay, so yeah, you guys, we also, we also read, oh, wait, ah, okay, okay, sorry. We also got this whole thing about how Toji left Ghetto his curse, and then Toji left Gojo his kid, which is blessing because of the name, blah, 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 blah. And you really see that here. Like, I feel like Gojo approached this kid right now, not really with the, his intention, I don't really understand what it was. I don't think it was like the most positive intention, but I think hearing this kid speak, this kid being Toji's kid and how this kid spoke and what he cares. I think I think this this interaction did something to Gojo in a positive way and he decided to to he has a goal here and this was positive. Like this is different. Oh my god, okay, I'm sorry. It is just I I love this episode like so much. Oh, to, oh we're back. Are they gonna show us a little bit? Go to the day. So even Sensei sleeps. Oh my god. Oh, oh hi! Expensive chairs. <gasps> oh, look, it's from the opening! <laughs> Even 
and he sleeps. LOL. But she pushed him on the chair. He pushed her. What? He pushed her on the chair. Oh my god, what are you smiling about? Honestly, there's actually nothing to smile about except when he like met you. <laughs> Everything he just thought about or dreamt about, there was nothing to smile about except for maybe the first half up until the beach. Like <laughs> after that, mm-mm. My goodness, my goodness. Guys, I'm, I'm sincerely obsessed with this episode. This episode was so good. I, I just, I found myself so engrossed in the psychology of it, in the like mind and how, how delicate the human, like humans are like, ah, it was just so, it was so delicate. I don't know why this word feels like the word to describe it, but everything about this episode felt so delicate. And like the littlest thing, and not to say that they were little things that changed everybody's course, but what I mean is like very intricate details is what um, manipulated everyone. I don't know if you understand what I mean, but it was like the incident that happened with um, Sis when she got shot and all that, that whole incident. It's not like they made that incident be the ultimate turning point and that is what shifted everything. It's what started like a domino effect. But there was always a point in which the dominoes like could stop. Like if someone put their hand or something, it could stop. So it was like really just like a process, a process, a, a delicate process developing towards, you know, different routes. And then, you know, it would determine if the domino went this way or that. It was just really, yeah. That was really crazy. I really commend. Ooh, ooh, ooh. How do you write motto in kanji? It's like that. So, are we jumping into like some humor next time? Anywho, I'm happy I'm gonna get to see you guys again. Okay. So, yeah, what I'm trying to say here is just that uh, I've, I find, I really wanna commend the writers, the writer, and then the directors and all that stuff for this episode, for this segment in the manga. I don't know how many chapters it was, but this. This episode, everything that this episode encompassed, I really want to commend them because I loved the delivery. I loved the situation. And when I say loved, it's bittersweet, obviously, because it was sad. But it was just so well done. It was well done and it just, it wasn't black and white. Even like, even with Ghetto, like I can sit here and say like, dude, you chose the wrong path. It is wrong. Um, you're not supposed to play a god. Like, even if you feel like you're justified in what you're doing, it is not your job to play god and end all these people because you feel like curses shouldn't be a thing and 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 yada yada yada. Like, because because I because it, it's it's a similar way of saying like I don't know like herbivores should. <laughs> yeah, this is not weird, but like it's not exactly the same. But it's like. There's herbivores, for example, and then there's carnivores, omnivores. Should we, should herbivores completely destroy all omnivores and carnivores so that they could live a peaceful life, not being hunted ever? And, and that's not exactly the same thing because we know that there's a cycle and I, the world probably can survive with, with only herbivores. But it's like, what I'm trying to say is like, it's a way of saying like, that's life. <laughs> so that's life. And even though it's not ideal, it's come. It's not you, it's to mass genocide just to, but because this is a fictional world, it's a bit harder to touch up on. This is a fictional world. Therefore, the idea of curses, and we don't know, like if curses really stopped existing, would that be a problem for any cycle of life? I don't know. If non-sorcerers stopped existing, would this be a problem for life? Like, I don't really, you don't know the consequences of it, except for the fact that, yes, he's murdering, he shouldn't be playing God like that. But his viewpoint is just so, like, it's really interesting. Like, it doesn't allow me to feel like, wow, you're just a, a crazy villain that is a crazy villain. Like, I can't see her just being like, you're a crazy villain. Like, it's, it's, deeper than that you can decide to conclude it by saying he's still crazy because dude what i'm sorry but you don't get to decide you can still conclude it that way but like when it comes to ghetto i don't want people to say oh no he's just a crazy villain mm -mm. i want you to like elaborate i want you to explain every single way that you view him and then you could still conclude <laughs> he's a crazy villain but like i like it's not so blase like that 
Homeboy really went through it. He used to not view things that way. He really had a villain origin story. Like, he <laughs> he really went through it. He was stuck being like, what is this life, bro? Like, what is this life? And he hated doing what he did. In some ways, you can maybe say, okay, maybe you just need to retire. <laughs> maybe you just need to not be a sorcerer. And then you won't have to suck up curses like that anymore. Um, you won't have to be involved in the day-to-day where you can find yourself having your mind swayed like if you didn't go on that mission you know like things like that if he just lived a normal life but that could also go against who he is in other ways and therefore he could still live a very tr like unpleasant life as a normie or something like that so like he really tried in front of the cage of these two girls he was just like really just like it was a ticking time bomb like and it wasn't just like a ticking it was it was a ticking time bomb but this this bomb started certainly ever since the incident with the star plasma all that stuff it the, the bomb was literally turned on then and it's just been ticking since and it was a matter of if someone managed to stop the bomb you know before it went off and uh, unfortunately nobody did <laughs> That blonde chick sped up the process, let's be honest. <laughs> Nothing says that, I'm not gonna say she's responsible for what happened, but she definitely definitely educated him in ways uh, that, <laughs> that helped out. <laughs> but in the end, it was still his decision to like, see it how he saw it and, uh, and now what happened to her? I feel like she was mentioned before, but I don't know how much they told us about her. So I don't know what happened to her, but I feel like, what would Ghetto do if he saw her again? What would she do if she saw him? I don't remember if she died though. I really don't remember anything, but wow. I'm sorry, like, fantastic episode, really. I don't know if other people feel the way I do about this episode, but I, I think it was fantastic. Now, if we have to talk about the animation though, I'm not gonna lie. It wasn't, it, it wasn't Jujutsu Kaisen's best. However, there were instances where I really liked it. There were instances where I was like, dang. And there were instances where I was like, okay. <laughs> And it's not because, it's not because I didn't like the style, it was more like very different from the, the rest of Jujutsu Kaisen's style. There are many other shows where we could just address the art style and, and like that's its consistent style and we appreciate it as such because I love different art styles. But when a show that has had an art style just kind of switches up and becomes a little different, it feels a little wacky. <laughs> but yeah, there were instances where I liked it and instances where I was kind of put off. But it, it, at the end of the day, like the story consumed me and yeah, that that's really what matters. So yeah, those are my thoughts. So we are ending it off here. I can't believe like we're done for a little bit and then we'll be back at the end of the month, guys. We'll be back at the end of the month. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I want you guys to leave your thoughts down below. No spoilers, please. And I'll see you guys in my next video. So, thank you and bye!